you are still mute. How are you? How are you? Sorry. I'm very well. Thank you, Mecca. How are you? I'm delightful. That's great. Are you in the office or are you at home? I'm in concierge. That's why I was wondering with that yellow door. Oh, are you sure you're at home with your yellow door? Yeah, I haven't got a yellow door at home. <laughs> how's, how's, how's life in Indonesia? Well, I think Ray White is doing okay, pretty good. Um, loan market is, we, we were dead for a few months because all the banks doing restructuring for all the businesses. But since last month and this month, I'm very happy with the progress. The banks have opened up and they are processing loans now. So I'm very happy with that. I'm, I'm never a hundred percent sure what to talk to your people about. So I kind of hopefully what I've put together today is fine. I've talked about building relationships, talked about, you know, being diligent, following up well and all that type of stuff, you know? I think that works. That is just as important. I think all businesses are very similar. You need to follow, keep following up on everyone. And um, so I, I still feel that it's the good thing. It's important. What you say, even the one that um, you discussed previously, um, I think that's really good. And I really encourage people to look back at your videos and take a look again. I, I, I think that's really good. Very helpful. Thank you, Sari. I, I'll, I'll look forward to coming to Jakarta again soon one day. Yeah, with uh, uh, what, minus, minus two degrees that you were talking about? Vodka. Where? Where? Vodka. Vodka bar. <laughs> oh, the vodka bar. Yeah, the vodka, the vodka bar. <laughs> yes, up there, my, my glasses kept fogging up, so. <laughs> uh. <laughs> um, how many are you expecting this afternoon? Uh, I think quite a lot already registered, but they do like a, a, a like watching a, a football, so they have a, a whole team with one oh, video. Oh, oh okay. Right. They did that. They they have a lot of teams joining uh, uh, the 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 you know uh, joining the Zoom. So it was pretty good. A lot of people joining. So, so this one this afternoon might take anywhere from half an hour to forty five minutes. I'm not quite sure how long it'll go. That's that all right? Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Ah, your one is here. Hi, dear. I'm not allowed to call him dear professionally, am I? Who? Hi, Johan. <laughs> My husband. Hi, oh, Johan. <laughs> is Johan going to speak first or? Yeah. Uh, yes. Hi, Mark. How are you? Hi, Johan. How are you, brother? Uh, good to see you. Thank you for doing this. No problem <laughs> at all. Appreciate that. So, no how was your holiday, Mark? What's that? How's your holiday? My holiday was really good, Johan. We went up to. Um, Kelly and I went to, um, I'll get this back up, went to Hamilton Island. So, oh. Uh, ah, that's good. Really good. It was really nice. Have you been there? Uh, no, no, we have not. Uh, it's really, really good. Really, really good. Yeah, that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. So how long did you stay there for? Uh, we were there just for five nights. And then we went five down, down to... Um, down to our beach house, down at Coolangatta, down to our beach. We got an apartment on the beach down there, so we went down there for a couple of nights. So it was good to have a break. It's been doing a lot of, I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of talking. So, so <laughs> this is, all, this is all, always my favourite because, because of the interpretation. Chanel, my EA, who's on, who's going to control my slides for me, thinks it's hilarious. Sorry, the, the interpretation, you know. <laughs> I told that when I come to Jakarta, you interpret in front of all the people, you know, like. Yeah. Very we look good. Forward. We love to have you here, Mecca. Not the vodka thing, but we love uh, to have you here. <laughs> I'm not quite sure, sorry, when that's going to happen in this world at the moment. So. It's terrible. Yeah. Yeah. It's terrible. Yeah. So Victoria had some relaxation this week. I don't know if you heard that. Wow. Oh. Yeah, they were in full lockdown and now they they can do private inspections as of yesterday. But no mm -hmm. opens and only do one-on-one, -on -one, you know, one one family, one agent. Mm. 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 Right. 
we have a uh, lockdown just uh, being imposed again I think uh, two weeks ago and now it has been renewed for another two weeks in in in, in jakarta in jakarta yeah so we're back to lockdown before we were like lockdown and then in transition to the new normal it's like uh, uh they it's like a, they make it more relaxed but yeah. now we are back to lockdown but the uh, central government fought for it with the uh, uh local government like Jakarta. So uh, now that um, offices can open for, I think, uh, 25% capacity. Right, oh, okay. So oh. it's, it's better than, you know, zero capacity. So yeah, yeah, it's yeah. better for, yeah. So we can still open, yeah. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, like restaurants and all that, uh, they're not allowed to open. They're not allowed to dine in, but they can sell, uh, they can still do takeaways, yeah. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Hey, we'll well, does that mean you're cooking, Sari? What's going on there, girl? <laughs> Unfortunately, everyone improved in their cooking except me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I did not improve at all. You know, I made fried rice a few nights ago. And, you know, uh, my husband finished the whole, uh, a lot of the fried rice, but I know it wasn't taste good at all. He was uh, very nice to me at most of it. <laughs> So, okay. I think, I, think, uh, I think we have to we have to start now. It's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, get started. Can, yeah. Let's All right. Up. Okay. Uh, Anna, silakan Anna. Okay. Uh, selamat siang, Bapak Ibu. Uh, selamat datang di acara webinar kita yang kedua kali dengan bintang tamu kita, Mr. Mahmud Nosio Growth dari Ray White Group. Nah, hari ini adalah follow up dari uh, webinar. Mark McLeod yang sebelumnya mengenai goal Anda, Bapak Ibu. Nah, eh, akan ada juga eh, Ibu Sari Dewi, CEO Loan Market Indonesia, akan membantu kita menerjemahkan apa yang disampaikan oleh Mr. Mark McLeod. Nah, eh, saya tidak menunggu lama lagi dikarenakan waktu, nah saya akan mengundang Bapak eh, Yohan Boyko Netanyo, selaku CEO Rewet Indonesia, untuk membawakan opening remarks. Silakan Pak Boyko. Ya, uh, terima kasih Ana. Uh, di selamat siang Bapak dan Ibu sekalian yang kami hormati para principal manager maupun uh, marketing uh, Rewat Indonesia, Rewat di seluruh Indonesia. Dan selamat datang pada webinar di siang hari ini dengan uh, judul uh, Mark McCloud's Insight yang bagian kedua. Dan uh, bagi Bapak dan Ibu sekalian yang uh, telah mengikuti webinar sebelumnya tentunya sangat-sangat uh, excited untuk mengikuti lanjutan daripada insight yang pertama. Dan di siang hari ini kita telah hadir uh, di uh, studio virtual kita, yaitu ada uh, Mark uh, McLeod, yaitu uh, CEO Growth di, di Ray White. Uh, welcome to the webinar, uh, Mark. Thank you, Johan. Good to have you here you today. So, so cool to be here again. Thank you. Jadi uh, di siang hari ini kita akan langsung mendengarkan insight dari uh, Mark uh, tanpa menunda-nunda lagi kita langsung dengarkan dari Mark yang akan membagi insightnya dan terutama di siang hari ini akan dia akan berbicara mem, uh, berbicara mengenai membangun uh, hubungan jadi uh, lanjutan daripada insight sebelumnya di mana kita secara fokus pada mindset jadi uh, kita memberikan waktu kepada Mike sebelumnya barangkali uh, Bu Sari ada satu uh, dua patah kata ingin sampaikan kepada Loan Market Group yang juga hari ini ikut di webinar siang hari ini. Terima kasih, selamat siang Bapak-Bapak dan Ibu-Ibu. Kita bersyukur, kita berterima kasih bahwa Ray White maupun Pak Boyga memperbolehkan kita ikut juga dari Loan Market untuk acara siang hari ini. Uh, saya merasa bahwa apa yang dibawakan oleh Mark McLeod itu sangat bagus yang sebelumnya, karena menurut saya membangun kebiasaan baru itu yang paling penting, disiplin di dalam eksekusi itu adalah yang paling penting jadi menurut saya apa dibicarakan oleh uh, uh, Mark McLeod itu mengenai yang sebelumnya itu sangat bagus sekali jadi saya merasa bahwa, saya berharap bahwa yang kali ini juga akan sangat berguna juga untuk kita semua jadi uh, uh, so let's see and I'm excited to uh, for this session. Jadi, uh, let's enjoy all of us. Thank you. So, we're we good to go, Sari? Yes. All right. So, I might get uh, Chanel Maia to share the screen and then I can start talking and we'll we'll start to, um, I'll get you to interpret as we, as we go along. So, we go to the first slide if we can, Chanel, and we'll keep up. So, what I'm going to do this afternoon is that I'm going to give you uh, an outline of what makes a great agent compared to an average agent. Jadi hari ini saya akan diskusikan apa sih sebetulnya marketing atau loan advisor yang bagus dibandingkan dengan yang tidak bagus. 
I'm going to start this afternoon by giving you some sales stats that we know to be true in our industry. So let's let's go. I'll go to the first one. So you can 40% of salespeople never follow up with the prospect. Jadi saya ingin diskusikan mengenai statistik yang sangat betul di bidang kita ini. Uh, yang pertama saya langsung saja itu adalah 48% dari marketing itu tidak follow up prospect kita. Thank you. 25 of sales people make a second contact and stop. Hanya 25% yang melakukan kontak kedua dan berhenti. So, you made a contact, you don't ring him back or you try once and then you give up. 12% of sales people only make three contacts and stop. Jadi Anda sudah dapat kontaknya, Anda menghubungi satu kali tidak bisa dihubungi lagi, Anda langsung berhenti. Atau 12% itu melakukan tiga kali kontak dan berhenti. Thank you, Chanel. And only 10% of sales people make more than three contacts. So, Jadi hanya, sorry, sorry, why you go? Jadi hanya 10% yang melakukan lebih dari tiga kali, menghubungi lebih dari tiga kali. So, if you are one of those agents who follow up more than three times, you'll put yourself into a very small success ratio. Jadi kalau Anda adalah salah satu yang menghubungi lebih dari tiga kali, berarti Anda orang yang sangat-sangat sedikit itu yang bisa, rasio yang sangat sedikit. What I mean by small, small as in no opposition. Kecil itu maksudnya tidak banyak orang yang melakukan itu. Thank you, Chanel. But here's what we do know. Only 2% of sales are made on the first contact. Statistiknya hanya 2% penjualan itu terjadi di saat kontak pertama, hubungan pertama. Thank you. 3% of sales are made on the second contact. 3% itu dilakukan pada hubungan kedua. 5% of sales are made on the third contact. 5% terjadi pada hubungan ketiga. Again, Chanel. 10% of sales are made on the fourth. Dan uh, 10% dilakukan pada hubungan keempat. And here's the money ball. 80% of sales are made on the fifth to twelfth contact. Uh, ini yang penting ini mana uangnya akan masuk. 80%. Uh, penjualan dilakukan pada kelima sampai ke dua belas kali waktu kita hubungan. So sorry, I'm going to tell a story. Jadi kita akan mendengar suatu cerita. Don't, don't get it yet, Chanel. Ten years ago in my desktop, I built a product called Relationship Scores. Sepuluh tahun yang lalu, saya membuat Uh, produk namanya hubungan relasi. Every contact got given a score based upon the depth of contact to that person. Setiap ka, setiap hubungan saya me, me, membuatkan scoring nilai. So, for example, if you send an email, you got one point. You send a text message, you got five point. If I spoke to you, you got 10 points. Contohnya kalau saya email, saya dapat satu skor. Tapi kalau saya bicara di tele, eh saya teks, saya dapat 5 skor. Kalau saya 5 angka. Kalau saya telepon itu saya dapat 10 angka. Jadi setiap hubungan yang kita lakukan saya kasih angka. When I built this sorry, not many people wanted to use this function. Waktu saya mulai membangun ini tidak banyak orang yang mau memakai fungsinya ini. Unbeknownst to me, two weeks ago, I met a young guy who was an agent who had now bought one of our agencies in Adelaide. Dua minggu yang lalu, saya ketemu satu anak muda yang baru beli uh, bisnisnya. Jadi dia dulu marketing, sekarang baru beli bisnisnya, uh, propertinya, uh, agen propertinya itu sendiri di kantor Adelaide. So go back, Chanel, if you can, on the slides for me, please, mate. Just go... He showed me anecdotally that when the lead score gets over a hundred, he lists seven 
out of eight properties where the lead scores over 100. Jadi yang tadi skor yang kita bilang itu itu dia bilang kalau dia melak skornya lebih dari 100 uh, dia mendapatkan uh, 7 listing. So basically to get a lead score of a, over 100 you would have to contact that person between 5 and 12 times. Untuk mendapatkan 100 100 per person sorry can I ask Mecca 100 per person is that what you're looking yeah, at? Yeah sorry so I'll explain to you so it recalibrates at the start of every year and 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 the goal is to get to 100 through a combination of talking ringing up the customer texting the customer and email but to get over a score of 100 you would actually have to make contact with them about eight times on right in line with this bottom number. Oh, I see. Okay. Jadi skornya itu harus 100 per orang, per orang ya. Jadi per customer atau per nasabah. Contohnya ini ya. Kalau kita melakukan scoringnya 100 per orang itu, itu berarti harus ada kombinasi email, ada kombinasi teks, atau kombinasi, kombinasi telepon. Dengan kombinasi itu, kalau kita lebih dari 100, kita bisa mendapatkan 7 listing dari 8. Jadi tinggi sekali itu kemungkinannya statistik. Karena itu sesuai dengan statistik yang di bawah itu adalah dia melakukannya cukup banyak itu. It's, um, the conversion, sorry, is quite extraordinary. Konversinya itu tinggi sekali. And he makes he makes contact on average eight times to get the score over a hundred in a given year period. Jadi minimum yang dilakukan oleh anak muda ini minimal dia tuh harus kontak delapan kali untuk mendapatkan skor seratus itu. Konversi itu dari uh, uh, hubungan saja menjadi listing ya menjadi listing. So. These stats on the screen here are not my stats. They're from sales in general, but it's identical to the stats that we now show on the R scores. Jadi ini statistik itu bukan dari saya, tapi statistik di umum dan ini sangat uh, berlaku sekali untuk yang kita lakukan saat ini. Thank you, Chanel. I'm going to ask some questions here, sorry. Saya mau menanyakan beberapa pertanyaan. Why can't you fly a jumbo? I'm asking everybody that. Why can't you fly a jumbo jet? Kenapa Anda tidak bisa menerbangkan jet jumbo? Next one. Why can't you do brain surgery? Kenapa Anda tidak bisa melakukan operasi otak? Next one. What does a $500,000 a year agent look like? Menurut Anda, seseorang yang memiliki pendapatan 500000 kira-kira 5 miliar ya, seseorang yang memiliki pendapatan 5 miliar rupiah itu, orangnya seperti apa sih? Thank you, Snell. The reason that you can't fly a jumbo and the reason that you can't do brain surgery is that you don't know how. Kita bisa tidak bisa menerbangkan jet jumbo atau kita tidak bisa melakukan operasi otak karena kita tidak tahu caranya. And what a five hundred thousand dollar earner in our industry looks like? They look like you. Tetapi yang mendapatkan lima pendapatan lima miliar itu orangnya mirip dengan anda. Do they know anything that you don't know? Is the question. Nah, pertanyaannya adalah apakah mereka mengetahui sesuatu yang kita tidak tahu? Thank you, Chanel. So what is the difference? Thank you, Chanel. They understand that great freedom, and I mean freedom as in the ability to buy the car that you want, holiday where you want, buy the house where you want. Karena orang-orang ini memahami freedom kebebasan kebebasan tuh maksudnya bebas membeli properti yang anda mau membeli rumah yang anda mau membeli mobil yang anda mau memiliki kehidupan yang anda mau is underpinned by the discipline of building relationships that's the difference itu yang paling penting di bawahnya adalah di dasarnya itu adalah disiplin itu yang beda membedakan mereka see everybody on this on this session knows how to pick up a phone and talk to a customer. 
semua di sini kita tahu bagaimana angkat telepon untuk berbicara. And they know, and the people who earn half a million dollars know that this industry is about depth of relationship and connections. Orang yang lima miliar itu mengetahui betapa pentingnya, dalamnya, dan koneksinya terhadap uh, klien mereka, hubungan, hubungan terhadap klien mereka. The penny drops when you understand that a phone is made for making calls, not receiving calls. Uh, uang itu masuk bila kita mengetahui bahwa telepon itu untuk kita menelepon, bukan kita menerima telepon, tapi kita yang menelepon orang. Thank you, Chanel. Now, I always put this in because I think it's a great saying. Discomfort is the price of admission, admission to a meaningful life. Ini menurut saya penting sekali. Saya selalu masukkan slide ini. Ketidaknyamanan itu adalah harga untuk memulai uh, atau tiket ke uh, kehidupan yang berarti. Ke, ketidaknyamanan itu adalah biaya untuk masuk untuk tiket ke kehidupan yang uh, berarti. So many agents want to get the sale after one call, but the data and the facts show us that you have to be somewhere between eight to twelve connections. And that's the discomfort zone. Semua orang berharap nih uh, marketing maupun loan advisor maunya itu kalau kita satu kali telepon langsung dapat bisnisnya. Tetapi faktanya adalah kita harus melakukan 5 sampai 12 call hubungan. Nah, 5 sampai 12 hubungan itu tidak nyaman sama sekali. Thank you, Shanel. So now I'm going to talk about the development of a relationship. This is, a, this is a relationship business. Kita tahu bahwa ini adalah bisnis hubungan. Jadi kita akan bicara bagaimana hubungan itu ber, uh, berawal dan berjalan. Our chairman, Brian White, bought this graph to me back from Harvard. Jadi uh, chairman kita, Brian White, membawa graph ini dari Harvard. So, when you only make contact with the client once waktu anda menghubungi klien anda menghubungi satu kali they are skeptical and cynical of you mereka itu uh, skeptic uh, skeptical sama sinis so your job is to take them out of your suburb or your community jadi tang uh, apa yang harus anda lakukan adalah keluarkan dia dari komunitas Anda itu. And put them into your database. Dan masukkan ke dalam database Anda. And then you move them up one step of the relationship ladder to prospect. Jadi Anda naikkan itu ke hubungan yang selanjutnya menjadi prospek. I communicate, I communicate, I communicate. I get my R score up and I move it from a prospect to a client. Melalui hubungan lagi, menghubungi lagi, menghubungi lagi, berkomunikasi lagi, berkomunikasi lagi, kita baru bisa meningkatkan dari prospek ke klien. And I take them from my database to my pipeline. Dari database itu saya meningkatkan menjadi pipeline. So when I have the client and I and I um, I do business with them. Dan setelah saya uh, orang tersebut menjadi klien dan kita mempunyai hubungan usaha bisnis, and I may refer them to loan market, dan saya refer ke loan market, thank then, you, Mika. <laughs> they then become an advocate. Lalu mereka menjadi advok mengadvokasi kita, advokat. And what we know that if you create advocates, they refer seven bits of business to you in between their own transactions. Mereka waktu menjadi advocate itu mereka akan merekomendas, merekomendasikan kita di dalam mereka punya usaha sendiri ke orang-orang. And, and when a referral comes back into your world, waktu referral itu kembali lagi ke kita, they don't come back as skeptics or cynics, 
they come back in at prospect level. Mereka tidak turun karena mereka itu di river, mereka tidak turun ke skeptik ataupun sinis, tapi mereka itu menjadi prospek langsung. So the more relationships you build, the more contact that you make and you push more people up this ladder, the more people come in and you start to grow a business. Jadi lebih banyak Anda menghubungi uh, uh, dan naik ke tangga-tangga ini Anda akan memiliki lebih banyak usaha lagi konteknya dan waktu mereka masuk mereka tidak mulai dari bawah lagi. So the question I have for everyone is how much contact do you make? Are you disciplined? Are you happy to become uncomfortable to build more customers in your relationship funnel? Tanya saya kepada Bapak Ibu adalah sekarang ini Bapak Ibu menghubungi berapa orang? Apakah Anda mau keluar dari zona nyaman untuk menghubungi lebih banyak orang lagi dan uh, berhubungan dengan lebih banyak supaya kita membangun itu database kontak kita? Hang on, I've lost, I've lost it here. Hang on. There we go. Thank you, Chanel. What I'm going to show you now Sorry, and I'll, I'll have a quick chat to you off. Just stop there, Chanel. Let's go backwards. Is I don't know how much this applies in your world, so you might have to adjust this a bit. But what we do with all my people that I work with, we build ecosystems around their business. Kita di, di tempat saya kita membangun ekosistem di bisnis kita itu. Ekosistemnya harus kita bangun. And so we, 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 we attack our community on many fronts. Kita berusaha menyerang komunitas itu dengan berbagai cara. And it's through all these different connections that we start to build presence and start to build relationships. Dengan uh, cara begitu banyak cara untuk berhubungan itulah kita mulai membangun hubungan dan membangun supaya kita tuh bisa uh, mereka tahu bahwa kita ada. I call this the income triangle. Saya memanggilnya itulah pen, uh, saya memanggil ini pendapatan uh, segitiga pendapatan. So we lay the foundation in letterbox in our community on a regular basis. Jadi kita memulai foundation dengan membagikan uh, apa letterbox ya bagi-bagi uh, uh, flyer ke uh, uh, apa kotak surat. And we call that laying down the yellow haze. Kita memanggilnya lying down the yellow heights. Heights. Like, like painting the suburb yellow. Ah, jadi kita lakukan adalah ini kita bilangnya itu membuat suburb kita tuh jadi biru, eh jadi kuning. Maaf yeah. ya, udah loan market. <laughs> And loan market. So. <laughs> so thank you, Chanel. And then we, we always advise, and what we do with the, with, the, with the painting the town yellow, we're just laying the foundation down. Then we go just listed, just sold communication to show our community that we are successful. Terus kita lakukan adalah, suksesnya adalah kita baru listing, kita baru terjual. Jadi ini untuk membuktikan bahwa kita tuh sukses. Hanya untuk memberitahukan komunitas di sekitar kita bahwa kita sukses. Each one of these layers, sorry, is playing a role. Setiap uh, layer ini ada fungsinya masing-masing. And they're all part of your ecosystem. Dan ini semua bagian daripada ekosistem kita. Next one, Chanel. We do a market review document or a market report to our community which shows that we have market knowledge. Kita memberikan market review dokumen untuk membuktikan bahwa kita memiliki pengetahuan pasar saat ini. Thank you, Chanel. We then connect with the database through text message and phone calls, and we connect directly through the database. Jadi kita mulai menghubungi database kita, Hubunga, bisa menghubungi melalui teks, WA, atau kita telepon. Thank you, Chanel. We build a deeper relationship in the pipeline. So pipeline for me is all the people that we identify are going to list their home or properties in the next 12 months. 
lalu kita masuk ke pipeline. Pipeline itu kita maksud kita pipeline itu orang yang ingin menjual dalam 12 bulan ke depan. I spend a lot of my time with the pipeline, keeping them informed because I know that they are considering coming to the market. Saya meluangkan banyak waktu untuk bicara dengan pipeline saya. Karena kalau pipeline itu saya tahu mereka rencana untuk menjual di 12 bulan ke depan. The top agent in Queensland is Sonia Trelaw. Do you know Sonia, sorry? Yes. Uh, no, Sonia who? Sorry? Trelaw, her name is. No. She's got 250 people on her pipeline. She's identified for the next 12 months 250 people that she knows going to come to the market already. Ini ada namanya Sonia. Uh, beliau ini memiliki 250 orang uh, uh, yang akan rencana menjual di dalam pipeline dia. Di, uh, akan menjual 12 bulan ke depan. 250 orang bayangkan. Luar biasa. And because of her ecosystem, she does all this. Karena ekosistemnya dia lakukan semua ini. She gets called into a very high percentage of her listing presentations unopposed. Dia sering mendapatkan listing tanpa ada uh, tanpa perlu perjuangan. She gets good fees. Dia mendapatkan komisi yang sangat bagus. Method of choice. Pilihannya juga bagus. And marketing uh, contribution. Dan juga mendapatkan uh, biaya untuk memasarkan. And, and every one of these of these steps has played a role in that. Dan setiap ini tuh sangat penting memiliki uh, uh, apa role masing-masing. Thank you, Chanel. She obviously lists the property to create income. Lalu dia tentunya listing supaya bisa mendapatkan pendapatan. And what happens through the inquiry through the buyers? She's able to put more people into her pipeline. Dengan ada yang lebih banyak pembeli, lebih banyak pembeli, dia bisa memasukkan lebih banyak orang lagi ke pipeline-nya itu. Thank you, Chanel. Because she gets good marketing, she's able to have great presence in the media. Karena dia mendapatkan uang untuk mengiklankan dari pemilik, uh, uh, dia ini mendap bisa iklan cukup bagus di media-media. And the last one is that she has a great after sales program and she builds advocates to generate more people for her pipeline. Karena dia bisa membangun uh, sistem untuk avo avokasi, jadi mem mem mendorong teman-teman yang mau memperkenalkan dan mendorong dia, uh, itu adalah se uh, setelah penjualan. Jadi banyak orang yang merekomendasikan uh, ini orang lagi dan dia masukkan lagi ke pipeline, pipeline-nya membesar lagi. So there's a question here in the in the Q&A sorry from Aldila Aspon. Ini ada pertanyaan dari Aldila Aspon. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday Aldila. Oh, happy birthday Aldila. She knows that they're going to sell because she talks to them all the time in the connection here. She talks to these people all the time. The more you talk to them, the more they tell you. Karena dia me, me, berbicara dengan ini orang ingat enggak, enggak tadi 100 skornya. Kalau 100 skor itu harus berapa kali email, berapa kali WA, berapa kali telepon. Kalau sering-sering menghubungi mereka, kita pasti tahu dia pasti cerita kapan orang apa namanya orang-orang hubungan kita ini akan memulai untuk menjual. Hubungan. Thank you for that. Thank you for that question, Adela, and happy birthday, girlfriend. <laughs> Happy birthday, dear. I said girlfriend. So, 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 uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, just go back to that slide, Chanel, for me. We call that the income of success. And obviously, obviously, the more you repeat this, the bigger the number. It just grows and grows. And sorry, many of the people on her pipeline are also purchasers because they're wanting to sell a home and buy a new one. So they're one and the same people all the time. So she's always got good buyers and always got good sellers. Jadi ini semua itu punya peran masing-masing dan mereka itu setelah mereka 
jual, tentu mereka juga akan beli. Jadi ini kalau kita bangun terus, bangun terus, bangun terus, itu jadinya tambah lama, tambah besar pipeline kita. Thank you, Chanel. The challenge. The hard Tantang part is coming up with the new way. Tantangannya bukan bagaimana untuk menemukan cara baru. Thank you. The hard part is falling out of love with the old way or the way that you've done it. Tetapi paling susah adalah bagaimana kita keluar dari menyukai apa yang kita lakukan di zaman yang sebelumnya. We have many of our young people who have gone into the database connection and have gone whoosh way past old people who can't adapt and change. Jadi kita punya yang muda-muda yang baru bergabung, mereka tuh menghubungi terus, menghubungi terus, berkomunikasi terus dengan database, mereka mendedak, uh, naiknya luar biasa sekali. Tetapi orang-orang yang lama itu nggak bisa maju-maju, ya mereka lebih tinggi lagi dari yang lama. Thank you. Thank you, Chanel. So we work on what we call the divisions of real estate. So we build a data division. Kita bicara mengenai divisi daripada real estate ya. Satu adalah data divisi. And that's where the volume is. Big volume in there. Big volume of all homeowners in my area. Itu adalah volume yang kita harus punya dan besar sekali. Semua orang yang memiliki properti di area saya, kita harus memiliki data itu. Semua yang memiliki properti di area kita. And then I communicate, communicate, and then I find the people who go to my pipeline. Jadi terus saya komunikasi, komunikasi, komunikasi supaya kita bisa mereka sampai di pipeline. And then I go, and then I manage the stock through good stock management processes. Getting price reductions, getting the property price right for sale. Dan saya melakukan stock management yang bagus, yang penting adalah harga turun sesuai dengan harga pasar. Turun harga itu penting sekali supaya kita bisa, bisa aku ya. Thank you, Chanel. Then I have marketing and community and NPS. I, I pride myself on my marketing and my service that I give my customers. Jadi kita jangan lupa memasarkannya, memasarkannya, dan saya bangga dengan pemasaran saya dan saya bagaimana memberikan service kepada uh, uh, nasabah maupun klien kita. Thank you. I then have to sometimes, like someone like Sonia has a team, she has to learn how to lead the team well. You know, it's part of her role as building a big business. Nah, Sonia ini juga dia karena memiliki tim sendiri, dia juga harus membangun timnya. Supaya timnya juga memiliki uh, bisnis yang sangat luar biasa. Thank you, Chanel. And of course, I build an after-sales division. All my past clients, I stay in touch and I love forever. Jadi tentu saya membangun after sales uh, divisi, uh, divisi after sales jadi klien-klien yang udah lewat itu harus mengikuti kita terus menerus. Thank you Chanel. And when I work on all these, go back when I work on all these, I get growth. Kalau saya melakukan ini semua, saya akan mendapatkan pertumbuhan. All right, I'm going to show a photograph now. Ah, saya akan memperlihatkan foto. Wow, who's a beautiful girl. Into the chat box. Who knows what that is? Who knows who that is? Anyone who knows that is? Ayo masuk ke chat box. Siapa yang tahu? Ini wanita siapa? Saya sih nggak tahu loh jujurnya. Very famous. Very famous. Very famous. Japanese lady. Oh, orang Jepang yang sangat-sangat terkenal. Ada yang kenal? Yes. Oh. It's Mary Kondo. Wow, namanya Mary Kondo. Well, so who, got, who got that right then? Ibu Tirsa, Megawati Tirsa. Right. So do, do, do you know who Mary Kondo is? Sorry. I unfortunately I don't. Okay. But. So Mary Kondo is a woman who's world famous for the minimalist way of, of, of decluttering, home organizing, making decluttering, you know, so, you know, you, you make things tidy. Mm. And I made a statement here at a conference about a year ago, and this is the statement that I made, thank you. Mm. It's time to Did mark one day the database. 
Jadi uh, Mary Kondo tuh dia itu yang membuat jadi kalau rumah banyak barang itu bagaimana merapikan rumah itu supaya tidak banyak barang lagi di cluttering-nya. Jadi rumah itu nggak nggak seperawut gitu. Semuanya dirapikan. Jadi saya bilang ini waktunya untuk uh, Mary Kondo database kita. So what we did through lockdown through COVID lockdown. Apa yang kita lakukan saat COVID lockdown ini? We went around and we recategorized and we and we cleaned up and decluttered all our databases. Jadi kita meluangkan banyak waktu untuk membersihkan uh, dan uh, apa declutter kita punya database. Semua database kita kita rapikan. Into our community pipeline parcels. Community into uh, un, um, kita jadi tiga bagian komunitas terus pipeline terus after sales. And then we started to build communication channels to each of those categories. Lalu kita bangun communication channel yang tadi kita diskusikan, kita hubu, uh, apa, menghubungi mereka dengan communication channel tadi. So instead of saying clean up your database, I said it's time to marry condo the database. Jadi bukan saya bilang membersihkan database kita, tapi waktunya untuk marry condo database kita. Just because she's pretty. No, she's very famous here in Australia. Ah. Kelly, my Kelly Sari loves us. You always tidy in my sock drawer up. Mari Kondo on the sock drawer. <laughs> Istrinya Meka suka merapikan katanya uh, laci kaos kakinya uh, Meka, Mak. <laughs> <laughs> Drives me nuts. Drives me nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Membuat saya gila katanya. Uh, yeah. Jadi uh, waktunya untuk Mary Kondo kan data <laughs> So my message today in finishing, sorry. Okay, yang terakhir uh, message saya adalah is about having the discipline to get your communication to your customers to a point where the percentages work in your favor. Jadi pesan saya adalah bagaimana kita uh, again, can you please repeat that? So I'm saying is that build a database and communicate it to a level that the percentages are in your favor like more people list with you because of the way that you've communicated over time you've built an ecosystem around your community pesan saya hari ini bagaimana kita bisa membangun ekosistem komunikasi itu supaya waktu mereka mau listing atau mereka mau melakukan itu sistemnya itu kemungkinannya itu jauh lebih tinggi karena kita udah melakukannya dengan sangat baik I'm going to finish by saying this. Have no attachment to the outcome, have attachment to doing it. Jadi Anda jangan terfokus atau attach uh, itu dengan hasil, tapi Anda harus fokuskan bagi apa yang kita harus lakukan. Jadi kebiasaan yang kita lakukan itu yang harus kita fokuskan bukan hasilnya. Too many agents. And I'll give an example here. Sorry. It's like I want to go to the gymnasium once and be Arnold Schwarzenegger. Ini kayak terlalu banyak dari kita, pengennya itu cuma satu kali aja ke gym tapi langsung menjadi Arnold Schwarzenegger. You have to be disciplined and consistent. Anda harus menjadi disiplin dan konsisten. It's taken Sonia Trelaw eight years to become number one in Queensland. Perlu delapan tahun untuk Sonia Trulo ini men, uh, untuk menjadi nomor satu di Queensland. Wow. Last, last year she wrote two and a half million dollars in GCI. Uh, tahun lalu dia mencapai two and a half million itu twenty dua puluh lima miliar dua puluh lima miliar Grosscom. But Grosscom. But every year better, better, better. More clients. More contact, better, better, better. More clients, more contact, better, better, better. And a business just continues to grow. Bayangkan 20 mil, 25 miliar Roscom loh. Jadi setiap bulan itu lebih baik, eh, setiap saat lebih baik, lebih baik, lebih baik, dan lebih baik, dan lebih baik. Jadi progress terus untuk menjadi lebih baik terus. Consistency is her companion. Konsisten adalah teman baiknya. Unfortunately, for most agent, 
Inconsistency is the consistency. Sayang sekali tetapi untuk uh, marketing kita kebanyakan adalah inkonsisten itu yang menjadi konsisten. So, so, so that brings my presentation to an end. Are there any questions for me today? Itu membuat presentasi saya selesai di sini. Apakah ada pertanyaan dari Bapak Ibu? Silakan. One question from Ray Abraham. Mm -hmm. Uh, ada pertanyaan dari yeah. Yeah. one question well, from Ray Abraham. Yep, yeah, I got okay. Abraham. Yep. So Ray, hey. what I find what I find is is that I'm um, sorry. Um, you need to you just need to out consistent him. Jadi pertanyaannya adalah uh, saya baru belakangan ini ikut. Tapi uh, karena saya betul-betul baru, ini ternyata ada seorang yang sudah terkenal sekali di area saya. Jadi bagaimana supaya orang-orang uh, dan sangat terkenal, jadi semua orang mengetahui orang tersebut. Jadi bagaimana saya supaya bisa masuk dan uh, saya sekarang yang menjadi terkenal. Okay. Uh, uh, jadi uh, Mark McLeod bilang kita harus lebih konsisten, kita harus me mengungguli konsistennya orang tersebut. And, and, and build an ecosystem. All the pieces play a role. Jadi bangun ekosistem karena setiap sistem itu memiliki peran masing-masing. Right. Is there any other questions before I sign off? Uh, pipeline. Oh, pipeline. Hello, Owen. Pipeline. So pipeline for us is that we want to identify people who are going to list their home in the next 12 months. Pipeline itu adalah bagaimana kita bisa mencari orang yang ingin menjual di 12 bulan ke depan. Itu namanya pipeline. Once we find that out, we then start to get deeper in the relation. How can I help you? What information do you want? Can I send a tradesman around to get your home ready for you? Jadi contohnya ini, uh, kalau Anda udah siap mau ini, kita tanyanya adalah apa yang bisa kita bantu Anda? Anda perlu informasi apa lagi mengenai pasar? Atau bila Anda ada persiapan untuk mau jual, apakah perlu perbaikan-perbaikan? Boleh nggak saya kirim orang yang bisa membantu Anda untuk memperbaiki rumah Anda untuk persiapan penjualan? Alright, any other questions, guys? Apakah ada pertanyaan lain? Silahkan. No, well, thank you very much, Sari, to speak to your group again. Senang sekali uh, bisa di sini. But that's the challenge, how to be consistent. Because inconsistent become consistent. How to be consistent? Discipline. Well, I think, I'll say this, Sari. I believe this. Success has a feeling. Mm. And what happens you be disciplined, you get some some success, and it makes you feel good, and that fuels the next level. Hmm. Jadi saya pertanyaannya bagaimana supaya kita bisa konsisten terus gitu ya semangat terusnya. Katanya bahwa kalau kita berhasil itu membuat kita juga lebih semangat dan semangat itu membuat kita lebih pengen melakukan lagi. Jadi waktu kita melakukannya kita berhasil, berhasil kita membuat kita lebih semangat lagi dan itu membuat lingkaran yang luar biasa. Jadi tambah lama tambah bagus. I think behind every successful person normally is discipline. Menurut saya, because in Chinese behind every successful man is a woman. It's not that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Kelly thinks so too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to agree. All women agree on that. <laughs> Jadi, per, menurut Mecca, di belakang semua orang yang sukses, itu yang paling penting adalah disiplin. Tapi untuk istri-istri, kita merasa uh, suksesnya uh, suami adalah istri-istri uh, yang di belakangnya ya. <laughs> All right then. Well, thank you very much, Johan. Thank you, Sari. Um, thank you, Mecca. It's a, such a wonderful presentation, and uh, I think uh, we all uh, learn about it. Uh, should really uh, execute this, but it's really the challenge is being the discipline. Yeah.
Yes. Mm -hmm. So maybe, Yoan, we can do this maybe one more time before Christmas. We can, we can organize yeah. that. That would be very that would good. Be fantastic. Yeah, it would be fantastic, my guy. Very yeah. happy to do that. So yeah. um, I, hope everyone, I, hope everyone, that. I hope everyone remains well and safe, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Right. Thank you, Mecca. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sari. Thank you. Have a wonderful evening. Thank you. you too. Bye-bye now. Bye. Thank you, Mecca. Terima kasih Pak Buike, terima kasih Bu Sari sudah membantu menerjemahkan untuk hari ini. Uh, thank you Pak Buike, thank you untuk uh, Mark McLeod juga yang sudah membawa insight-nya hari ini. Terima kasih Bapak Ibu yang sudah mengikuti webinar hari ini. Jangan lupa untuk mengikuti webinar minggu depan di Ketik Continuous Training tentang Powerful Presentation bagaimana Anda mendapatkan exclusive listing dan komisi 3%. Uh, Uh, untuk menutup acara ini, saya Ana mengucapkan terima kasih. Selamat sore.